What's up, y'all? It's your girl from Township your Boy, Shelly Carolina. Let me straighten y'all out just a smidget. Uh, okay. Um, this is one of those collective videos. And basically, I'm going to just put it like this. We got to hear the news report on and YouTubers report on bullshit. And then we got something that we should report on. So it's your girl, sometimes your boy, Charlotte Carolina. And you know what it is, man. You know my slogan. I'm flexing on these hoes like Hulk Hogan. The animation is out. Make sure you watch it. The Halloween snippet. Big thanks, big thanks. All right, let's get it. You want to start here with breaking news right now. Sources telling ABC News that accused sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein has died by suicide. The 66-year-old multimillionaire had been awaiting trial at New York City's Metropolitan Correctional Center. ABC's Stephanie Ramos is here following this story and has the very latest development. Stephanie. With sources, do tell ABC News that Jeffrey Epstein took his own life. The exact timing and circumstances are unclear. The mega millionaire is accused of exploiting and abusing dozens of underage girls. He'd been on suicide watch in that New York facility. You'll remember he was found unresponsive in his cell last month with marks on his neck. Initially, investigators thought he'd tried to take his own life. They were they were then looking into whether he was assaulted by another inmate or if he'd even paid someone to beat him up. Epstein's attorneys had been fighting to get him out on bail, but a judge refused. Prosecutors argued the mega millionaire's lifestyle and wealth made him an extreme flight risk. Now, this comes just a day after bombshell court documents were unsealed in a case connected to Epstein, the thousands of pages in deposition testimony revealing accusations against some famous names. This morning, Jeffrey Epstein implicated in new stunning accusations pointing at several famous and powerful men. 2,000 pages of documents were unsealed in Manhattan Federal Court related to a 2015 defamation case brought by Virginia Roberts Gouffre against Ghislaine Maxwell, a longtime Epstein associate and British socialite. In court filings, Gouffre says that Maxwell recruited her while she was working as a locker room attendant in 2000 and was grown to be a sex slave to Epstein, adding she was later directed by Maxwell and Epstein to have sex with many, quote, powerful men, including numerous prominent American politicians, powerful business executives, foreign presidents, and other world leaders. In deposition testimony included in the trove of documents, Gouffre alleges that she was directed to have sex with British royalty Prince Andrew, former governor and UN ambassador Bill Richardson, and the former influential senator from Maine, George Mitchell. All three men have strongly denied the allegations. In statements, both Mitchell and Richardson say they never met Ms. Gouffre. In an interview with the Miami Herald, Gouffre described how she says she was trained. Give Jeffrey what he wants. A lot of this training came from Gilan herself. And being a woman, it kind of surprises you that a woman could actually let stuff like that happen. But not only let it happen, but to groom you into doing it. I was young. I was scared. I knew it was powerful. I didn't know what would happen if I said no. I didn't know what would happen if they reported, if I reported them. While the case was settled, Maxwell has consistently denied the allegations. And in court filings, Maxwell's lawyers wrote that Gouffre had utterly failed to substantiate her patently incredible claims of being trafficked to well-known men. The attorney for Gouffre has put out a statement saying the denials of those accused of participating in Jeffrey Epstein's horrific sex trafficking operation are predictable and have long been anticipated. The truth will have the final word. And once again, this comes as the disgraced millionaire killed himself in his Manhattan jail cell. Epstein was 66 years old and set to start trial next year. Shocking turn of events. Stephanie Ramos for us. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, everyone. George Stephan Michaels here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. Uh, now, this is my, my one of my favorite YouTubers, Pedro V, but he on that bull right now, blood. Let's get in. He has two that Jeffrey Epstein, the billionaire financier and convicted sex offender, has died by suicide. Confirming that financier Jeffrey Epstein has committed suicide. 
Epstein was behind bars in a Manhattan jail awaiting trial. Race financier Jeffrey Epstein has taken his own life while he was behind bars here in New York City. Epstein was facing sex trafficking charges. Hey guys, Pedro V here. So we have it, folks. The pawn, the asset, the small guy, Jeffrey Epstein, has supposedly committed suicide. But get this, folks. He was already on suicide watch. And he supposedly committed suicide in solitary confinement. Now, they want us to believe he is dead with a lot of powerful people's names dying with him. But this was all already planned. He was most likely silenced. Who knows if this guy is even dead or not. But do not believe mainstream media. Do your own research. Dig a little deeper. Jeffrey was also a small guy compared to others. It's similar to the El Chapo case because people believed El Chapo was huge, but in reality, he was just a pawn, a small guy. This case is no different. He might have known people, but he was not part of the club. This club runs the world, literally that powerful. Jeffrey has connections to Clinton and Trump. Remember that also. They are likely involved in this whole thing. Clinton and Trump are also not part of the club, but controlled by people much above them. I don't believe Jeffrey would have started talking or naming names anyways because he was not given in for months and months. He already knew the routine. So I bet you they want us to believe he is dead so we can move on. But a lot of people aren't going to just move on. People are going to keep talking. But those people will have no power to bring these powerful people to justice. It's that simple. That doesn't mean we should give up. But this is not a fight we can win by ourselves, but with the help of God and the Son, Jesus Christ. Because in the end, it is a spiritual warfare. So with that all being said, guys, remain vigilant, have faith, and God bless you guys. That's bullshit reporting because it ain't that important. Nobody cares. If he did these things, he's dead. Nobody gets a damn except his family. And who gives a fuck about the condolences? All right, next. Um, what we should be reporting about and continue to be reporting about. Let's get at First of all, I'm sorry for what you're going through. I, your, your mother is here. Yes. She's injured. Yes. Have to come in an ambulance. Yes. Yes. What's that like? Horrible. Horrible. There's no mercy to explain this pain we're going through. It's horrible. I mean, I don't think we deserve it. Nobody deserves it. Nobody. Nobody should go through it. No family should go through it. Physically, how is she doing? She's doing way better. I mean, she's gonna. She got discharged today, but we just want to be safe and bring her in an ambulance. But we could have brought her ourselves, but. The hospital, which I think very much still so hospital that helped us. Mm -hmm. They brought her in and they made sure there's a nurse here with her. So if anything goes bad, because we don't know how she was going to react. We don't know. I mean, that's the hospital and then this and then the cemetery. That's too different. It's too hard for people. You feel that your stepfather saved her life? Yes, he did say. And there's proof because the Buddha went in here, came out here and went through the center console and when it hit my mom it only went in like an inch so it killed all the velocity that had and then it just so the bullet went through him first yes and then yes just injured her. yes and then she had another uh, uh an ex police officer that helped her a 30 year ex police officer which i think thank him very much he said your mom's so lucky because the bullets hit her here here and one got got her right here though so it's like she went like this quickly, like miracle, you know what I mean? Like she It sounds almost crazy well, to describe that as lucky. That's so that's so lucky. Three bullets and only one barely hit her because this one missed her, this one missed her, but this one got her, you know what I mean? So my my stepfather saved her life. He yes. saved her life and here yes. you are here we are saying goodbye to her. Saying goodbye to her, yes. What is it that you want people to know? Uh honestly I just want to First, be safe when they go out there. 
we don't know what's going to happen any day. I mean, as you can see, we're not safe nowhere. So just be safe when you guys go out there. And don't hate. I mean, don't don't spray hate. Don't. Uh, there's too much hate going on. Let's get. Let's unite. Because we're all brothers. I mean, it don't matter what color your skin. It don't matter where you're from. It don't matter what language you speak. We're all human beings first. So let's stop that hate. So we don't have to go through this. That's what your message. Moment? Yes. So no family has got to go through what we were going through. Um, just one more thing, it's tomorrow's Friday, it's almost a week since it happened, does it still feel it just feels like it was an hour ago, that's how it feels, so I still, I think I'm in a dream, I mean, I still can't believe it, a nightmare, yes, yes, you can't wake up from it, I can't wake up from it, very, very sad, I'm glad your mother will recover physically, but emotionally, because at night, she'll wake up like, Ah, what happened? Or Tony, you know what I mean? Just that night when she was asleep. So she's not, she's not good. She's, she's still suffering. Scream. Yeah, she's still suffering. She's going to need a lot of help to get that, that out of her head. She's still in shock, I think. So and now having to say goodbye. And now having another shock, yeah. So, yeah. Very, very All right. I appreciate your help. Thank Anything you so else that you want to say? Just, be, like I said, be safe out there. And please, please, please share your love. I mean, because we're humans. Don't hate nobody because of their color. Just help them out if you can. That's all you can do. This community has really come together. Has that helped you in any way? This com I'm, I am so thankful for the community of El Paso because they help, helped us in every which way we needed food, anything we needed. They provided us a lot of stuff. So I thank the city of El Paso which, and the people, which are so great. They, thanks to them and be safe. Please be safe. Uh, thank you so thank much, Mr. Morales. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, man, so, yeah, I need to start reporting on the bullshit, report on the real shit, you feel me? And this your girl, sometimes your boy, Charlotte Carolina, and we gone.